Yellowstone and Mount Rainier. Hundreds of earthquakes detected, will the sleeping giants awaken? A deep, unrelenting pulse rumbled beneath two of America's most feared volcanoes this week. The U.S. Geological Survey released alarming yet fascinating data. Hundreds of earthquakes have been detected under Yellowstone National Park in Wyoming and Mount Rainier in Washington. Scientists are monitoring these seismic swarms with sharpened vigilance, while people around the world ask, is this a sign the volcanoes are about to awaken? Yellowstone. The supervolcano stirs again. Yellowstone sits atop a monstrous volcanic caldera, stretching over 30 miles wide. Its catastrophic eruption 640,000 years ago carved out the current landscape. Today, it remains one of the most monitored places on Earth in the past several days. Over 200 small to moderate. Earthquakes have rattled beneath its steaming surface. Seismologists reported the magnitude range mostly between M1.2 M3.0. It's a week to be felt by visitors strolling near Old Faithful. Epicenters concentrated in the northwestern caldera boundary, an area known for periodic swarms. Frequency at peak, dozens of quakes an hour rippled under the geysers. But what does this mean? According to USGS Yellowstone Volcano Observatory, scientists, these swarms are normal behavior. They often occur as stress is redistributed along faults or when hydrothermal fluids move underground. There's no indication of magma rising or any imminent volcanic eruption. Indeed, Yellowstone averages 1,000 to 3,000 earthquakes every year, often in swarms. Some of the largest in recent memory include the 2008-2009 Yellowstone Lake Swarm over 500 quakes in a week and the 2017 Maple Creek Swarm with more than 2,400 tremors over three months. However, beneath the calm statements lies awareness of the volcano's terrifying potential. An eruption of Yellowstone's magnitude could blanket much of North America in ash, its crippling crops, aviation, and infrastructure. Because years of volcanic winter, altering global climate, results in economic damage exceeding trillions of dollars. For now, the USGS reports no ground uplift, no abnormal gas emissions, and no thermal anomalies, meaning the sleeping giant, though restless, remains asleep. Mount Rainier, the most dangerous volcano in America. Far to the northwest, another volcanic titan shook with its own underground tremors. Mount Rainier, looming 14,411 feet above Seattle, experienced hundreds of earthquakes in recent days. The Pacific Northwest Seismic Network confirmed magnitude range most between M1.5-M2.5 depth between 2 to 6 kilometers below the summit. Key crate nearly 30 quakes an hour on the swarm's first day. This is the largest earthquake swarm beneath Rainier since 2009. Yet, just as with Yellowstone, scientists urge calm. The Cascades Volcano Observatory states, These swarms are common. They're typically related to water and gas movement within the mountain, not magma. There are no signs of deformation and no change in the volcano's alert level, which remains a normal green.
Despite these reassurances, Rhaenyra is considered America's most dangerous volcano due to massive glacial cover. An eruption could rapidly melt ice, triggering devastating Lahar's volcanic mudflows capable of burying. Towns like Ording and Sumner within minutes, dense nearby population, over 3 million. People live within its hazard zones. Rhaenyra has erupted numerous times over the past 10,000 years. Its last significant eruption occurred roughly 1,000 years ago, creating the electron mudflow that surged. Over 60 kilometers into the Puget Sound lowlands, Are these swarms warning signs? Both Yellowstone and Rainier are exhibiting heightened seismic activity, but experts agree. There is no indication of magma intrusion in either volcano. Snow ground uplift or deformation has been detected no unusual gas emissions have. It's been recorded for a volcanic eruption to be imminent. Scientists would expect to see persistent and rapid ground deformation as magma pushes upwards. Increased volcanic gas emissions, sulfur dioxide, carbon dioxide, harmonic tremor, A, continuous rhythmic seismic signal indicating moving magma. Changes in hydrothermal features, such as geysers altering behavior or water temperatures rising dramatically. The rhythms of Earth, a reminder. The Earth is alive beneath our feet. These hundreds of quakes remind us that Yellowstone is not just a national park. It is a super volcano, breathing quietly, its underground chambers shifting and sighing. Mount Rainier is not just a beautiful, snow-capped peak. It is an active stratovolcano capable of reshaping landscapes in hours. But for now, both remain silent watchers of time. The earthquake swarms a natural part of geological processes rather than a precursor to doom. Final thoughts? Should we be worried? Scientists advise continued monitoring, not panic. These seismic swarms are normal and expected. They remind us of the need for preparedness, robust monitoring networks, and public education about volcanic hazards. Because one day, whether in decades, centuries, or millennia, these giants will awaken.